Saudi Arabia, the desert country, is home to the most prosperous royal family in the world. Magazines like Forbes estimate their net worth to be a whooping USD 1.4 trillion. Yes, trillions. Finding it difficult to understand how huge that amount is, we'll make it easy for you. Let's combine the net worth of Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, plus the top 17 billionaires of the world. Even then, it won't match the net worth of Saudi Arabia's royal family. Their wealth comes from the crude oil that the country provides to the world. Before oil was found in its lands in 1938, the country generated revenue through religious tourism. Today, the country is the world's second largest crude oil producer. It sells oil to 85 countries and produces more than one crore barrels of oil in one day. But that oil will not last forever. A study conducted by Stanford University found that oil is a non-renewable source of energy, which means it is going to run out. It is predicted that by 2052, crude oil will be depleted, or extracting whatever remains will no longer be profitable. Once that happens, how will Saudi survive? Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has been working on freeing the country from its oil dependency. They have begun promoting Western tourism, much like the United Arab Emirates. And one of the ways in which the royal family is doing that is by building a jaw-dropping modern city that is 170 kilometers long and will have no roads or vehicles. Unbelievable, right? Let's understand more about its unique features. When we told you that it's 170 kilometers long, we said that for a reason. It is the world's first ever city to be built in a straight line. Not in a circle, a straight line. The king and the crown prince of the Saudi royal family dream of completing the construction of this city by 2030. The city will be very different from the other cities of the world. This line city, called the Neom, will be Saudi Arabia's first attempt to diversify and welcome Western tourism. Neom, which is being built in the Tabuk province of the country, has been allotted a special zone. On one side, it touches the Gulf of Araba, and on the other side, it is bordered by the Red Sea. Five kilometers away from its shore is the Egyptian city Sharm el Sheikh, which is already a tourism hotspot. The leaders of both countries want to connect Sharm el Sheikh and Neom with a bridge to boost tourism and bypass Israel with a land connection. The Saudi government's map of Neom is quite interesting. The city will have three levels. The ground level will have no roads or cars. That level is dedicated to nature, where one can only walk on foot and admire the surroundings, de-stressing and relaxing. The second level will have all the commercial buildings, like shops, malls, offices, etc. This level will have vehicles and roads. The third level will be Neom's backbone. It will have an ultra-high speed transport system, which will allow travel from one end of the city to the other in just 20 minutes. And don't forget, the city is 170 kilometers long. Also, the entire city and all of its systems will function on renewable energy, which is commendable for a country that is heavily dependent on oil. Neom which will pass through the Red Sea's coastline, will also pass through 4,500 feet high mountains. This zone has been named the Trojana Zone by the Saudi government. Without harming the mountains, the Saudi government will build a vertical village, an outdoor ski resort, a mountain-to-mountain -mountain transport system, a health centre, luxury entertainment centres, etc. The location of Neom is so uniquely planned that 40% of the world's population can reach the city in less than four hours. The Crown Prince wants to attract a population of 1 billion into the city by 2052. You must be wondering about the colossal expenditure that the Saudi government will incur to build such a futuristic city. The government has allocated a budget of 500 billion US dollars for this project. And the work has begun in full swing. The city will also have lavish royal palaces, 
and suites spread across an area of 1,000 acres. They will be an oasis with greenery in the middle of the desert and will open to pristine private beachfronts. The area, called the Neom Palace, will also have private golf clubs, two helipads and two private islands for the royal family's relaxation and recreation. Neom also has a regional airport that has been functional since 2019, currently being used by the construction crew and other staff who are building the city. The Saudi government has taken up a challenging project. The government claims Neom will run on 100% renewable energy. The question then arises, how will they filter the seawater into potable water, which currently requires fossil fuels for the process? There are no freshwater bodies in Saudi Arabia. How will the government provide renewable energy, generated electricity and water for a population of 1 billion? Especially for a futuristic city. How will they meet the timelines? The answers are simple. Neom will use a new method to generate fresh water. A huge globe made of glass is being built which will be filled with seawater. Using solar mirrors, the glass globe will be heated and the water will be converted into water vapour. This will then be taken out through a pipeline system. The CEO of Neom's water sector claims that using this method, they will be able to provide 5 crore litres of fresh water to the population of Neom in the future. Using state-of-the-art technologies like reverse osmosis and desalination costs 1 USD for 1000 litres. On the other hand, by using the solar water dome, the Saudi government will be able to drop the cost by 62% to 0.38 USD. That was about water. Now, let's talk about electricity. The government plans to use wind energy to meet the electricity demand in Neom. The location and weather of Saudi Arabia are perfect for that. Neom will also use solar energy in combination with wind turbines to create electricity plants that convert these natural resources into green ammonia using electrochemical cells. Green ammonia or green hydrogen can be used as fuel without causing any pollution when burnt. It is also very easy to store and transport green ammonia. Now let's talk about the ultra-high-speed trains that will take Neom's passengers from one end of the city to the other in 20 minutes. It is the first time in the world that such high-speed trains will be put to practical use. The trains will run at the incredible speed of 482 km per hour. Magnetic energy combined with green electricity will make this possible. Then the trains start to run. They will run on wheels. But once they are running at high speeds, the train's wheels will rise up by 4 inches and float into the air, like flying trains. This is one of the main reasons to make Neom a linear city, so that the trains do not need to slow down due to turns. Certain experts believe that building Neom by 2030 is a far-fetched idea. But the determination and efforts of the Saudi government will tell us whether this dream will become a reality that quickly. What do you think about this ambitious project? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more. And hey, like, share and subscribe. <laughs>